Good day YouTube, how are you doing today? I am the Trish Shetkin and welcome to episode 51 of our DNS Tech Pack Let's Play. How are we all doing today? So in between last episode and this, I've been letting my whole system run. I've also done a wee bit more automation-y sort of ways. Um, I've placed a chest here with a hopper so that this thing is constantly filled with coal. Uh, I didn't really think it necessary to hook up to my AE system. I'm not going to use it really. Um, also had my PCB thing running this whole time, and here we go. The dropper, structure pipe, thing, and now we've got a lot of unassembled PCBs. Um, the only thing is, unassembled PCBs are useless within themselves. They need to be added with transistors and capacitors. Transistors need squid plant seeds. And capacitors, um, capacitors uh, look like they need rain plant, lightning plant, lightning plant seeds. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a pile of different plant seeds on me as well. Uh, so last episode, we did the this thing here. Uh, I lowered it down one just to kind of you know, make it look nicer, I suppose, when it'd be finished, I presume. Uh, I also set up the infinite water, so it's got water inside it. Uh, a chest or two here, uh, the Tesseract for uh, what will be power and items going out. I've also got a chest here full of fertilizer. Uh, I set up in my AE system. Uh, if we come downstairs to my AE development room, uh, it's actually down here. Uh, a whole new line, because I've drawn out of lines, down here. So I've got a new auto thing over there. But I've also got this set up. Um, and what this does is it exports, well, uh, start off with that crafts sandstone and then puts it into here to export niter. And niter can be used to make the stuff that we're thinking of. Fertilizer. If you have a look, uh, saltpeter or niter with sand and dirt. I do actually have um, some appetite. But, uh, you know, I want to take it the hard way. I want to do it the hard way. Um, yeah, so, uh, have I got stuff on me? I don't have stuff on me. Let's grab some item conduits. Gone. Had some made up already, thankfully. Let's jump back down here. Uh, there's a couple other things we need to make before we can make this work. But we'll get to that in a second. So, let's get... Item conduits from here, here, to here. And this will be configured to insert. This will be configured to extract. So I'll start extracting and putting it in there. Nice, it works. Uh, you will be configured to insert into there. Uh, are you are you powered? Du, 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 du. Presume you. I presume I've got this set up. Have I? Yeah. Oh, I was using my quarry power, so that means it'll put items in through the quarry as well, won't it? Uh, I've got it set up sending items in fluid. Okay, it doesn't matter about fluid, but that's fine. Um, and I should really have, I wonder if I put this on extract mode, will it start extracting the, it does not, nice. Perfect, um, slide it here. Now I need to make something so I can actually tell it what I want planted, because I want to make this a, a automatic farm. So I need to make, myself some tubes. So if I come over here, uh, same process as we used over here before for making the other tubes, uh, I want to make the ones for certain flowers. So I want definitely the squid plant one. Uh, oh, but first I need to turn these into this, from their seeds into some of their plastic forms. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I just need five of them, so this chest here is dead. So I need five squid plant seeds. Put them in. This should be set up for... No. Um, I should really change this to be item filter. So like... Actually no, let's, do, let's just turn it to... Contains... Uh, I want the lightning plant, five of them, 
Uh, over on the squid, lightning. I should really put on rain plant. Five of them, and one more. Maybe healing plant. Not much use for them. Slime creeper, fire. Let's just do the fire ones. Uh, I'll probably need to go to the nether and get more seeds. That was probably a bad idea doing that, but oh well. So I've got four of them. I, don't, I can only put four in at a time, just to say. Um, go back over here to my laggy area. So I want a set of this lightning plant tube. A set of this squid plant tube. A set of this fire flower tube. And a set of this rain plant. Uh, I can make a few of these farms, but I'm just going to make one of them for now. Uh, I also need a thing called a soldering iron. Here it is right here, it shouldn't be that hard to make. Uh, oh, I need a carpenter, so I have to make a carpenter and a, what was that I got? Flux glue, was it? Flux glue. So, first things first, a carpenter. Carpenter. Here it is, carpenter. Uh, I already have a car. Oh, no, I can't do it because it would be there. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, did it need anything specific in it? It was a soldering iron. Soldering iron. It needs water in it. So. I'm actually going to take this from here. Should have brought the items with me, but I didn't because I'm a derp. Place it there. Uh, oh wait, that's stupid. You need power as well. And let's break you. I can place you here instead, I think. You'll be getting power and water. Uh, so for soldering iron, I needed one bronze and three iron. That's easy enough. Let's stay over here for another second more to make a couple of other things. I need uh, bronze and iron uh, I also need from forestry um, I've forgotten what it's called that's why I'm having to look through N E I let's see that's a lot of bees did I just see it nope. oh there it is there integrated uh, circuit boards circuit boards let's type in circuit uh, and I want the intricate one, so I need some gold and some redstone as well. That's why I checked what I needed there because I knew I would need some more. So some gold and some redstone. Let's put away some stuff we don't need. Uh, let's just put away all the seeds and get them back in a minute. Let's go over to my uh, stuff down here. This won't be a permanent residence for this, don't worry. I'm um, just placing it here for now. Temporary solution. So it was bronze. And three of those. And that'll take a wee second to make, not long. Uh, and then I need to make my intricate circuit board. Which was done. Oh, soldering iron. So it was redstone. Down the sides, I think it was. And then gold up the middle. There we go. And that should get me the intricate circuit board. And then we're going to see what to do with it. Uh, this soldering iron and intricate circuit board, which I'll get in a second, um, this has actually got a bit of an interface here. As you can see, I just right-clicked and it opened up this. And there's different setups. So you've got here, you've got an electric engine, which you can set up for that, a managed farm and a manual farm. Uh, once I get my intricate thing, take that, uh, I'm going to go to my soldering iron and I'm going to go over to managed farms and I'm going to place in my electron tubes. So I just picked that up there and I'm going to place it in there. And it tells me squid plant farm. Fire flower farm, fire flower, that's a difficult one to say, uh, and lightning. Squid, fire, rain, lightning. Sounds good to me. Now I drop this in afterwards, otherwise it just if it was already in and I just placed one thing in, it would have copied that. And you can't redo them. So 
top it in now, and now it's managed farm for squid plants, fire flower, rain, la di da, la di da. Uh, now I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to plop it in here. Uh, now actually the slots I placed those in are actually uh, north, south, east and west I believe. We'll soon see. Uh, because it does, this is north up here, uh, south, east and west, east and west obviously. Um, and that does actually make a difference to the size of the farms, I think. I wonder if it is in the smaller version or the bigger version. Let's see. If I place this in the centre, it now tells me they've got lightning, squid, rain and fire. And it should start actually doing stuff. I think I need to get some dirt and nether rack, probably. So let's go grab some dirt and some nether rack. I think we've got some nether rack up here. Got some dirt here. Let's just get a couple of stacks. Uh, yes, good. The water has set in. That's what we wanted. Uh, it's starting to place the, the water blocks for where that needs to be. I don't know what side that's on, but okay. And it will make water sources for keeping hydrated as well as where it is going. So this is obviously going to be the fire flower side. Uh, this is obviously going to be the water, the squid plants side. This is what was on about the different sizes. As you can see, like uh, this one in the west happens to be bigger. So that's going to be the lightning plant. And over here is going to be the rain plant. Although it can't be because there's water source blocks everywhere. It's got to be the squid. Squid should be to the... N oh, that is the north. I'm a herpy derps. So is that it? Would have thought this would have filled that completely up. Let's see if I make a... You're probably finished with all that. Ha! That's why it means you're going to be filled with water down here now. That makes that better, but this should still be water source blocks. So I'm just going to get a bucket and I'm just going to fill it in myself. It's not the end of the world. Um, water bucket, please. Surprised any. <laughs> I actually had a water bucket in there. That's it. There we go. It probably just needed a block update or something like that. So now all I really need to do is give this thing the actual seeds. Uh, I'm just going to come down here so I can still have my area accessible. Uh, so let's go back into my... nope. In here and let's go grab the seeds I need which was lightning, rain and squid. Don't have any fire flower seeds so I'll have to actually go back to the nether and get some. Not too imperative right now, but I will go get it probably off camera. It's not too big a deal. Um, and I'm just going to... I don't know why really I came down here. didn't need to. Uh, let's just put them in. And that'll start to plant them. Yep, there's the squid. There's the lightning. Or rain, sorry. Lightning's on this side. Uh, they do have to be... Uh, hydrated soil. So I'm just going to fly over here quickly and try not to lag out. Grab my watering can for a second. And just being sure this is all nice and watered. Perfect. Uh, as I said, I don't have anything in the fire plant. Uh, and those all will grow. Obviously I'm watering it, that's why they're growing so quickly just now. They wouldn't grow as fast still. Uh, it's not got accelerated growth or anything, it's just standard growth of them. Uh, but once it does grow, uh, do I have actually any bone meal? Let's grab some bone meal. should really just life myself with a watering can, I know. But, you know, I like to do things difficultly. Like, say the words, difficulty. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Let me grab that one. Yeah, 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that one spawned a squid. Uh, that squid will die. And look at that, it's planting them down again. Oh wow, that is awesome. It's actually working. Ha! Yeah, it is. Excellent. So I really just need one fire flower seed. So I'll probably nip through to the nether right now, off camera. Yeah, one fire flower seed, which I'll probably go do off camera right now, just so we can get some growing. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. Now, usually these things are pretty actually hard to find, but for some reason, I found them uh, very easily. So that should start now to plant them. Any time now? Come on, there we go. Nice. Um, I can take this uh, integrated circuit board out. If you grab the soldering iron and right click it, it will pop out, or left click it, one or the other. It'll pop out, and you'll be able to put a different setup in here if, if you want to. Uh, you can just sort of, you know, mix and match whichever ones you need. You can just make a few of these integrated circuits, have them on hand, and switch them out when needed. Uh, I don't think there's a way you could automate that, though, unfortunately, but say la vie. Um, look at all the, a few of these growing up. Nice. All right. So this will work. It takes a wee second, obviously, to plant them and grow them and pick them and plant them. and It's all automated, though, so I'm happy with that. That is uh, initial first go uh, Pneumatocraft seed farm. Nice. Only four different kinds, but that's, you know, that's fine with me, really. Uh, the thing we're actually needing is the squid plant, really. Of course, there'll be no extras yet because I'll have to fill up that whole inventory before I'll get extras. So I'm probably going to leave this running for a good long while um, before. So why don't I think of something, guys, and I'll be right back. I've got a plan. Yeah. While we wait for our squid plant seeds and everything like that to grow up, I want to go on an adventure. And, you know, a cool adventure. Um, and for this adventure, I am going to drop all of my tech uh, boop. Okay, I don't have that much tech. Uh, bag of holding. I've got a bit of tech in there. I just won't use it. And flasks and stuff. I'm going to keep my. I'm going to keep this. Um, I'm going to put away my flight. Boop. And I'm going to put away that. 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 Keep my bucket. Keep that. Put that away. Keep this. And this. Put that away. I won't mind another bow, but. That bow is technically in my mind tech. Um, let's put away my where's it, my wrench. Yes. So I'm still quite powerful because I've got a lot of magic stuff in here, like a lot. Uh, and I'm going to grab. Hopefully, I've got some flower. Uh, I wonder if it works with those. I doubt it will. Uh, I'm going to go find some roses or some some of these dandelions got an idea don't need to go very far yeah I learned that um, I think I need more than six unfortunately so crap stacks of this That'll do. That'll do. Okay, I'm actually going to pick this up. Uh, I'm going to need a pickaxe, though. So let's just grab the diamond pickaxe, I think. Uh, there is actually something I can do with this. I can turn this into a transmutation tablet. Now, how do I make dark matter? Red matter, which is a tuneless fuel, and down. So I'll probably actually need this tablet down again. Um, let's place it down. Down, okay. 
Uh, do I actually have... Tremulous fuel. It is Mobius. Okay, let's get some nether stars. Let's just maybe not all of them. Let's just put two. Let's place them in. Boop. Uh, so I want to make a tablet. That. So I need dark matter blocks. Let's see, I don't have actually made any dark matter, but we'll see. If I type in dark matter. No, I've not made actually any of it. So the way to make it is a turnless fuel. Never made any of it. Ha! So I need some. No, let's do that. And I need some diamond. Need let's do that. I do. So to make myself the dark matter, I need that around it. Okay, cool. So I can do that here. That this around it. Those diamonds back. Blocks. And I'm going to put it in here so I can learn it. Learned. Nice. So I've got dark matter learned. Uh, now I need to turn those into blocks, don't I? I uh, should have enough for four. Do. Uh, actually, I'll make it learn new of that as well. Um, let's take all you and see out. And what to do with the tablet again? I forgot how to make it already. So it was stone and this as well. So pick this up. Let's grab some stone. Some stone, some dark matter blocks, and the tablet. Nice. So that should mean I've now got one of these on the go. Hehe, <laughs> excellent. Uh, I'm just going to throw in all that. Pop it all in. So now I can carry around a big heaping pile of EMC. Uh, but I do need a diamond. One diamond for what I want to do. I'm going to nip over to my portal area. Maybe I've kept myself or something else. Uh, and I'm going to dig out just here. Yeah. That. And I'm going to place around it. Like this. Uh, and then we're going to go get a bucket of water. Uh, I've got a bucket on me, actually. Did I keep my food? I did. Good. <laughs> water. Water. That was not how you make an infant water source. Water. There we go. Uh, and now I'm going to throw in a diamond. You might be thinking that's a waste. It's now a portal! That's right. We are going to the Twilight Forest. So I'm going to jump in here, and it's going to log out everything, and I'm going to see you on the other side. Boop. And I'm here. We're in the Twilight Forest, guys. Woot. Uh, the Twilight Forest is a massive area, and it's a little bit like an adventure map, and so it's going to be pretty cool and fun to play through. Uh, like I said, I've taken all tech mods off. I've only got my magic on me. You know, it's a tech mod pack, so you'd have thought I would have had more take on me. But I didn't. I've used a lot of magic recently <laughs> for all my stuff. Um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna play through it. Uh, there's a lot of blue slimes here. Did not think blue slimes were supposed to spawn here, but okay. It's fine with me. Whatever whatever's necessary. So there's a few things I've got to find. Um killing all the animals isn't actually one of them. Feathers, feathers are definitely one of them, I think. Uh, I also need to look for an animal. No flight, remember? So I've got to do it on foot. 
Uh, sometimes better in the Twilight Force not to fly. Okay, it ruins the progression in the actual mod itself as well, being able to fly when you come into it. Uh, but not just that, it's it, it helps with the lag. <laughs> uh, this place can get quite laggy and broken on servers, so just a warning. Just a warning out. Uh, so I need to look for a thing called a raven. And I, I know you might be thinking, why would you say a thing like a raven? When I am actually looking for a raven. It's a long tunnel down there. So, yeah, I'm going to have to run about a bit. Try and find myself a uh, bunny rabbit. I'm now going to be a bunny rabbit. Bah! See what I'm on about lag? Yeah. Uh, try and find myself a raven. Uh, oh, I know what this is without even having to go into it. This is actually a uh, ore mining hill of doom. Not of doom, but I like to say doom. It's a nice word. Of doom! Uh, but it's not. Don't worry. So, oh, I can hear birds, which is a good sign. <laughs> if there's birds, there might be a raven nearby. Also, hello, Apple. Come on, out. And yes, I did leave on my run fast and jump high. Because, come on, you can't, you can't go back after you get the fast running. Whee! There's way too many blue slimes here. And thank God that was just water there as a way to jump without looking. Never jump without looking, guys. Top tip. Uh, top tip of the day, definitely. Don't jump without looking. Oh, more birdies. They're actually pretty cool birdies. So this might take me a wee bit of time to find. So why don't I come back once I've actually found a raven and see you then. And I'm back, guys. It wasn't actually that far longer. There is a raven. Kill him. Did I get his feathers? I did. Got his feathers. Awesome. Just what I was looking for. Uh, now I need to find something. Oh, hello. Uh, I need to go underground a wee bit. Not quite down as far as that. Um, there's actually a thing over there. I might go have a look at it. Uh, yeah, we have. we've got ourselves a maze. Eh. Let's go into the maze. Uh, there's spiders here. There was another one. Okay, we've got chests in here. We've got loots. Epic loots. Takes years. Ooh, take cobwebs. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, don't stand on top of the hedge. It hurts. Uh, okay, that's not what we're looking for. We're not going to do that just yet. Uh, I am looking for something that grows underground. So I'm going to find a wee... Uh, they tend to find wee entrances sometimes, openings in the ground. They tend to have these things that I'm looking for. Go away. Uh, so why don't I find one of those? Unless I can find one very quickly. Like this. And hope I find what I'm looking for underneath it. I did. Here it is. Torch berries. I need them. Uh, wouldn't mind if there was some more. There is. Nice. Uh, normally they would give off more light, but, you know, lagginess means they don't work. So, um, let's let us, let us, it's not a maze over there. Is it? Tons of mazes. Uh, now that I've got those things, I've got a very full inventory. There's some of the stuff I can send back to my main base, and that's what I'm going to do. Things like that. You. You. Keep the feathers. Great. Oh, you can go. 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 
Yeah, even the shoes can do a little bit. Uh, what I'm wanting to make is a map. Not just any map. I want to make a magic map. Magic. Black magic map. It's, oh, I need paper, which means I needed sugar cane, which I didn't bring any of. But I think I did see some. Near who respond in. Oh, I just realised where I derped already. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. I've been running about and I never marked where the portal was where I came in. Guys, top tip. Mark where you came into the world as well. Uh, unless you brought a book with you, you're going to need that portal to get back out again. And yeah. Might be able to find it on the map. Hope I can because God knows where I ran to after I came through that portal. I don't even didn't even check what direction I ran in. I think this is somewhere near where we spawned in. I want to say this is near. Um, I don't know though. How do I open up the map again? Too many buttons. Okay, let me look for the portal, guys. I'm going to start from there, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I found my portal. <laughs> so, waypoint, new waypoint, portal. There we go. Now we can find my way back. That wasn't easy, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I was needing to do stuff with stuff to make stuff. Maps. Uh, I need to make this map focus, which is Torchberry, the Raven's Feather, and Glowstone Dust. Luckily, I do have this transmutation, so I should have some Glowstone Dust there. Uh, and I brought some sugarcane from the other side. Uh, I need a crafting table, though. Some wood. Hopefully, that'll turn into four wood. Yep, that one does. Nice. paper and a crash nope nope just a severe bit of lag didn't crash watch for not crashing Raven's feather in the middle and paper out the side map You don't think I couldn't see you, boy? Good. Now let's pick up my table again. I'm going to put that stuff in my bag of holding. Torch berries and raven feathers. Now I'm going to stand here. Go with that. Click. And it is going to show me. It's kind of dark. It's going to show me certain things around, like as such the. Oh, let's put uh, no, that puts everything away. Like this, there's actually an ore hill. Right there, remember that that ore hill we looked at before? Yeah, that's there. There's also a monster this way. In this direction, there's a monster or something. A boss. There are certain bosses in this world and you can only actually do them in a certain order, give or take. Uh, and this is the first boss we're going to take on. Let's have a double check. That's what he looks like. Looks kind of like a little circle, two red eyes. Uh, yeah, this is the guy we're going to take on. He's called the Naga. So we're going to take him on. Uh, he's not a hard boss. If you can actually get in. Here he is. He actually destroys quite a lot of stuff, so get ready. Some also some ravens. Here he is. Ow, ow. He's also lagging a wee bit because the world's not changing fully. Ow, ow. 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 As you can see,
can see he is taking a, give it a good bit of damage there. He's not the hardest boss, to be quite honest. Uh, if you have decent armor, that is. Yeah! Nice. Nice. So we got ourselves a Naga Trophy. And we also got ourselves a Miniature Heart. Uh, let's send that back to the other side. Actually, I'll send that back as well. And you. And Naga Scales. Didn't need those feathers in the end. Who are you? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. First boss done. Uh, and there's other bosses around, as you can see, but there'll be certain bosses I can't get to. Like, if I go towards this one right in front of us here. Just kind of looking in this eerie looking forest. Let's try going over there. So I think, how can't you get to it? That's silly. Of course you can get to it. It's right there. Oh, it's looking a bit dark in there. Oh, and now I've got blindness. Yeah. Uh, you have to unlock certain areas by killing certain bosses. Bosses? Bosses. So, like that, I can't go into that zone because I get blindness. So, you physically can't see. So, that tends to put a hamper on doing that boss. So, let's have a look. And let's keep on, actually, let's go kind of around this. Let's head like this direction. Let's go try and find the other boss. See, I'm just going to kind of circumvent the area and hope that the other boss is on the other side. Hope is a very deep word here. Because you don't actually know. It's all random terrain generation, so it's not like a, it's set every time. It's just biomes placed in the world like any other. Oh, that was lucky I had awesome armor on. Let's keep going. Let's have a look at the map a second. Uh, there's another Naga there if I really wanted to fight him again. Don't need to though. We've already killed him. He is not needed anymore. We've passed the first stage here. Um, it's always handy to get a lot of the raven's feathers when you can get them because uh, other maps, extra maps are always handy and if you're wondering I am killing these sheep for a reason uh, I'm getting each different colour of wool so you'll see later on there is something I need that for how about you Uh, oh, you're going to have evil. Now I've got poison. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Something interesting. Safari net. Sure, yeah. Has it got anything in it? Does not. Cool. Keep that. That'd be handy. Future, let's have a look at our map again. Is it, it is. Ooh, we've got something over there. Let's go see what that is. Uh, I can't remember every single mob uh, boss looks like. So, we're going to have a look at this thing over here. See what it is. I can't remember everything being up this high. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't go this way. <laughs> Don't go up there. <laughs> Okay, I could probably actually physically survive that for a long time, but no, that's, I'm not supposed to go that way. Being injured while you're trying to get somewhere tends to mean you're not supposed to be there yet. Um, I'm trying to actually think what the name of the next boss would be. Can't even think what it was or is. It's been a quite a while since I've played it. Oh, that's new to me. Uh, not the sand in the water and being stuck and not be able to get out that that's all new i want us i want definitely want to go look at it not now because it'll probably kill me ow uh, map go 
Come on, map. Seriously. I just got a really rubbishy spawn. They're all naggers around me and high leveled ones. So it's like, uh, yeah, you can't actually progress. That was some really delayed fall damage. So yeah, I've really got to find... I might make another map as well soon. Oh, there's something up here. Once the world loads in. Because, you know, I've been running fast for a wee bit of time. Oh, I think that might be the next boss. That's a really big tree. Uh, that crown guy. Uh, another one of these things. Don't really care because they've just got loot in them. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. Stop. Let the world load. Come on, world. Load for me. Load. I'm going to go see this guy. Pretty sure this is the next boss up ahead. This guy with the crown. Uh, so once this actually all loads in, guys, I'll be back. And here we are, guys. We are at the next boss. Is Temple. In the castle. You hear things creeping and groaning in there. Uh, but we're going to have to wait for the next episode to do this. Because that's right. We have actually hit the wrapping up point for today's episode. So, guys, this is the Trash Etikin signing off episode 51. Have fun!